let's prepare our hearts and minds for prayer. Father God, I come boldly to your throne of grace, as humble as I know how, just to say thank you, oh God. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for breathing air into our lungs. Thank you, Lord God, for allowing us to see another day. Thank you for allowing us to come together for another Faith Field Friday, to dive into your word, to learn more of who you are. We thank you for it now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I pray that everyone is doing well. I'm doing good. It's super early, you guys, but we are going to get started. For those of you that are new, my name is Tara. What I do over here is cover scripture. I follow a scripture reading and writing plan from Anika's Creative Closet. I always have that information linked below for you guys if you're interested. And this month, we are going to be wrapping up, you guys, for the end of the month. Well, fairly soon, we'll be wrapping up for the end of July. Um, the scripture reading and writing. The scripture reading and writing plan from Anika's Creative Closet is titled Prepare and Plan According to God's Guidance. Preparation is the key. And so this month, if you're new, um, our scriptures also included journaling prompts. And so I'll be sharing those with you guys as well. And quite a few of you have reached out to me and asked about where do I keep my journaling prompts? I actually use a separate journal to do my journaling prompts. I don't do them here in my faith planner. The journal that I'm using is also from Anika's Creative Closet. I will link that below as well. And many of you guys have been wanting to know where I got this ink pen. So this pen is actually from Live Love Posh. I got it at the Go Wild Planner Conference. It was a free gift um, with purchase. So Live Love Posh had her shop set up and I bought some sticker books and this was my free gift. I love this pen, you guys. It is fine point. It's not gel ink, but it looks like gel ink. And you guys, unfortunately, I have run out of ink. So I won't be using this. Um, I am going to check the website to see if I can get refills or maybe go to the office supply store to see if I can find some refills for this. But Live Love Posh does have other ink pens on her website. I will link that below as well. But until I can get refills, I will be back to using my Tara pen. This was actually made for me um, by a friend and I have a coffee tumbler that says Tara and it's pink, gold, and white and it matches this pen. So I'm going to use this. We'll get started because I can go on and on and on about ink pens, but I won't. <laughs> Let's turn to our page here and we will start with our scripture from last Friday, which was Proverbs 15 and 22. And it reads, plans go wrong for lack of advice. Many advisors bring success. Amen. And the journaling prompt for that says, who can I seek advice from to help ensure my plans are successful? Then we go to Saturday, July 20th. It was Psalms 33 and 11. And it reads, but the Lord's plans stand firm forever. His intentions can never be shaken. Amen. And our journaling prompt says, how can I seek God's counsel more consistently in my planning? Amen. You guys, when I did this journaling prompt, it was very, very long. It, I think it took up the whole sheet in my journal. Um, Sunday, July 21st was Luke 12, 47 through 48. You guys can see here, I did not have enough room to write out both scriptures. Um, so I wrote out Luke 12 and 47 and I used the NLT version. 
and it reads, And a servant who knows what the master wants, but isn't prepared and doesn't carry out those instructions, will be severely punished. I also forgot to write this in red letter. That's why I underlined it here and here in red, just to let you guys know that these are the words of Jesus. Then if we go on to the next week, I'm just going to move our scripture focus card for now. Monday, July 22nd was Proverbs 27 and 1. And it reads, do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what a day may bring forth. Amen. Our journaling prompt for Monday says, how can I stay humble and flexible in my plans, acknowledging the uncertainty of the future? And then Tuesday was Psalms 90 and 12, and it reads, So teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Amen. The journaling prompt says, How can I better use my time wisely to fulfill God's purposes? Wednesday is 1 Peter 5 and 7, and it reads, Casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. And the journaling prompt says, what anxieties about the future do I need to cast on God today? Thursday was Matthew 25 and 13. This is also the words of Jesus written in red, and it reads, so you too must keep watch, for you do not know the day or hour of my return. Amen. And then our journaling prompt says, how can I stay spiritually prepared for the unexpected events in life? And then I'm going to flip the page. Our scripture for today comes from 2 Chronicles 28 and 20. This was really long, you guys, so I had to put it on two little sticky notes. So let me see how I can do this. Okay. And it reads, Be strong and of good courage and do it. Do not fear nor be dismayed, for the Lord God, my God, will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you until you have finished all the work for the service of the house of the Lord. Amen. I am going to stick this over here for a moment. And our journaling prop for today says, what work has God called me to and how can I be strong and courageous in completing it? All right, you guys. So let's write out our scripture for today. I'm going to try to fit it here. If I can't, I have a little bit of space here to try to complete it, but we'll see. First Chronicles 28 and 20 says dot 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 because there's scripture before that be strong and of good courage and do it amen do not Fear nor be dismayed <laughs> for the Lord God. My God. will be with you. Oops. I messed up, you guys. <laughs> That's okay. It is okay. It's early. I'm entitled to make a little mistake, right? <laughs> okay. We'll be with you. He will not leave you. nor forsake you 
until you have finished. I'm going to write that over here. Until you have finished all the work for the service of the house of the Lord. I still may not have enough room work for the service. I'm going to put SVC. I don't like doing that when I'm writing scripture, but I'm just trying to make it fit of the house of the Lord. Of the house. Uh-oh. We'll just put it right here. Of the Lord. Amen. Okay, we made that work, you guys. Um, so, this is where I choose one of the scriptures that's on my heart to write here. And I think I am going to use... Hmm... I think I want to use 1 Peter 5 and 7. Let's do that. I have my turquoise marker here. It's actually a paper mate flare. I love paper mate flares. I'm just going to take that off and write 1 Peter 5 and 7. And we're going to do our fancy first letter with our turquoise paper mate pen. And it is, I'm going to do dot, dot, dot. Let's see how fancy I can make this C. Um, Uh-oh, that might not be a C. <laughs> Which way am I heading, you guys? Let's see. Uh-oh, okay, I think I did it. It looks like a big cursive E, but that's okay. It's a C, you guys. It is definitely a C. Okay, I don't know why I did that like that, but trying to be too fancy, I guess. Okay, casting all our cares. It almost looked like eating. Okay, never mind. We know it's casting all your cares. Casting all... See, I almost messed up again. Casting all your cares upon him. For he cares for you. Amen. Amen. You guys, I love love, love this scripture, it just reminds me to not worry. It reminds me that nothing is too big for our God. It reminds me that I can go to him and cast all my cares upon him because he cares for me and he can handle it when I feel that some things are too big for me to handle or too tough for me to handle. Instead of me worrying about it and pondering on it and just going on throughout the day thinking about that thing, I am going to as much as possible. And I really do try, you guys, to cast all my cares upon him because he cares for us, right? So I did that. And this is where I keep track of my devotional and scripture writing. So I'm going to cross off that I did that Monday through Friday. And we'll read our devotional together today. I did my scripture writings also for Monday through Friday. And I'm going to put my scripture focus card back from last week. That was Psalm 118 and 18. And I am, oh, not decorated for the first week in August. So... I'm still going to put my scripture card there, um, but I'll leave it open for now. Let's read our devotional for today. Psalm 
We are 208 days into the year, you guys, and our devotional for today is titled Slow to Anger. And it reads, the Lord is slow to get angry, but his power is great, and he never lets the guilty go unpunished. He displays his power in the whirlwind and the storm. The billowing clouds are the dust beneath his feet. This comes from Nahum 1 and 3. Amen. Let me get my readers. <laughs> it's early. I need them. Okay. The love letter from God reads, Beloved daughter, I am the mighty God of heaven and earth. I display my power in many ways, and I love to show my power through you. There's nothing you can do that I won't forgive. That's why I sent my son to be your savior. I am a compassionate God, slow to anger and quick to come to your rescue. When you feel out of control, call out to me and confess your weakness so I can clothe you in my grace and mercy. I am a just God, and I will handle those who hurt you. Stay close to me. I will show my power and fulfill my promises. Love your heavenly Father. The reflection for today reads, Anger is a powerful emotion that can cause a lot of damage. In our human frailty, we want to retaliate for a quick fix revenge, but nothing good comes out of reacting in our anger. When you feel out of control, cry out to the only one who can help you, your loving, gracious God. Amen. The treasure of truth reads, anger is not a sin. It is what you do with anger that makes it sinful. And our prayer for today over here says, Dear God, hold your daughter while she cries out to you and don't let go until you have completely cleansed her soul. In Jesus' name, amen. You guys, sometimes when I'm reading my devotional, and I think this is how it's meant to be, I actually feel like God is talking to me, like God is speaking these words. And I know from the love letter of God, all these things comes from scripture. So it's not like um, one man's opinion, I would say. Maybe the treasure of truth, you know, is the author's opinion. But I feel like the love letter from God often quotes things that's in scripture. And that is why it grabs a hold of you so much or me when I'm reading um, my devotional. I love this devotional, you guys. This is the Thrive Devotional Bible from Tyndale. Um, it's for women and it's the NLT version. I got this from Amazon. It did not come tabbed. I did this myself, but these tabs are also from Amazon. And this is always linked below as well, if you're interested. And we will go on to pull our scripture focus for next week, which is the end of July and beginning of August. You guys, how fast is this year going by? Like really, really fast, if you ask me. It's, it's going by really, really fast. It's almost my birthday month, which is September. My birthday is September 10th, you guys. I love the sound of my birthday. It just rolls off very, very nicely. September 10th. <laughs> I think it's the tease. Tara's birthday is in September. It's actually September 10th. Okay, enough. Sorry, you guys. Let's stay focused. Let me stay focused, I should say. Okay, let's see what scripture we're going to pull for next week. That was just a little advertisement for my birthday, right? <laughs> oh, where should I go, you guys? Let's try this one. Let's try that one. You guys, these scripture cards come from Dollar Tree. For those of you that are new to my channel, I get them from Dollar Tree. They're normally... Um, at the register they have different like boxes and most of them have florals on it but that is where you can find them I love them our scripture focus for next week says I will thank the Lord with all my heart Psalms 9 and 1 so we're gonna punch this and put it there for next week and then you guys soon and very soon 
I will be coming back to decorate for August in my planner with you guys. It is called Batch Planning in my Faith Planner. If you're interested, please do come back and hang out with me for that. Um, and I think we covered everything. We pulled our scripture card, wrote out our scripture for today with you guys. Um, I completed my scripture on my heart, which is 1 Peter 5 and 7. Crossed off the devotional and the scripture writing for today. All right, that is it, you guys. I do pray that you all have a blessed day, a blessed weekend, and a blessed week ahead. Until we meet back here, Lord willing, next Friday for another Faith Field Friday. Father God, I thank you for this time that you've allowed us to come together in your word. I thank you, God, for every soul that is gathered here. I pray that as we go about our day, Lord God, you will continue to bless, cover, and keep us. And will continue, Lord God, to meditate on your word. We thank you for it now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys for joining me. Remember to keep praying, keep planning, and make it pretty.